The Cause and Block extension allows you to easily load external resources often blocked by your browser security methods. This extension provides control over XML HTTP requests and fetch methods by providing custom he headers to every request that the browser receives. As a user, you can then easily toggle this on and off via the toolbar. So to get started with this extension, you first add it to your browser. After adding this to your browser, you then pin it to the toolbar. To do this, you go ahead and left click on the jigsaw puzzle, and then left click on the pin. Now we can see it inside a browser toolbar. If you left click, this turns it on and off, and you can see this goes to colored and then grayscale. If you right click, you can see the options behind it. So this allows you to enable the different headers related to the cause block. So to go ahead and demonstrate this ex extension, I've set up some custom code on a server to demonstrate. So first of all, let's look at this code. So we start by loading jQuery. We then start by putting in a fetch request for an external website. So what this es essentially says is it looks to load example.com as a resource on this page. If this is allowed, it will give us this message to say that everything's been unblocked and it is allowed. If it's not allowed by default of our browser and security methods, it will block that resource. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So if we start by looking at the page inspector and the console, we can see here, without the course extension activated, we're currently getting this error. It's saying that we're not allowed to access example.com because it's from a different origin and it's being blocked by the course policy. And it's failure to load the resource. And we can see all this tied into it, the failure to fetch as well. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we turn this on. So we left click and we can see the extension is now activated because the C is colored in the orange. When we go ahead and refresh this page, now we see our custom message, cause unblocked, resource loaded. If we turn this off and refresh the page, again, we can see this has been blocked. So as a development tool, this is a fantastic way for building your applications and gaining those resources and access to that without the default cause blocking of modern day browsers. Along with this, you also have the options to allow the different faucets of this. So you can allow the header to access control, allow origin. You can allow or enable the access control, allow credentials, as well as the other headers we see here and the extra options inside and the different allow methods such as put, delete, patch, copy, move, etc. If you go ahead and look inside the test cause page of this, you can also see the different options inside here to load these individual settings and to disable them via the um, extension as well. So for example, if we go ahead and we decide that we don't wish to allow the copy, now if we go ahead and click this, we can see this has been blocked in the same way. If we go ahead and we now allow the copy, when we click this, we can see that it now goes through correctly. You can also use this extension inside incognito mode of your browser by right clicking, selecting manage extensions, and then selecting to allow in incognito. Fantastic for checking any uncatched pages, especially when developing applications or websites.